I like to make these small paintings on plexiglass and I wanted to have kind of a shelf system so I could put the paintings next to each other and then hang that whole shelf on the wall. So in this video, that's what we're going to make. This is a piece of half inch plywood that I had. It is just a little bit short this way at 33 inches. This way is good enough. I'm going to have to trim it. I'll bring it down to 44. It is just a little bit short at 33 inches. So I'm going to band the edge with half inch MDF and that'll give me a full inch. So 34 inches and that allows me to separate the paintings just a little bit more. This piece of half inch MDF is the old outfeed tabletop. It was also a workbench top, so it's kind of messy. So first I'll go ahead and cut it into strips to band the edge. I'll also cut the strips to make the little shelves. And then I'll run them through the sander to remove any of the paint and glue that's on the old workbench surface. Now that I have the molding made, I'll trim out the half inch plywood with the MDF. And this is a pretty good tip. I've talked about it a few times, but I'll show it again. Use your hand as a guide and that'll make it easy to get a nice straight glue line. Now that I have the plywood panel framed out with the MDF, I'll flip it over and make a French cleat to attach to the back at the top so I can hang it on the wall. I've set the angle of the blade to 30 degrees. I'll cut that angle on the piece that will be attached to the back of the panel and to a piece that I'll attach to the wall.
Now I've got the shelf parts, cut the length and width. Before I attach them to the panel, I'm going to cut a groove at the front so the paintings can, or the bottom of the painting will sit into that groove and not fall off the shelf. I'm starting with the fence at 1 8 of an inch. I'll make one pass on all the parts, then move the fence over an eighth of an inch and make another pass, which will give me a quarter inch groove. I've taken a minute to figure out the math and once I attach this first shelf then I'll use a piece of plywood that I cross cut at 8 inches and I'll use this as a spacer and work my way down the panel. I'm in the upstairs of the barn. This is the art studio. I've measured out where the studs are and I'll attach the cleat with one screw and then level it. Now I should be able to just hang this right on the cleat. And that's as simple as that. I can move it a little bit. I can adjust it either way. That's why I always make the cleat, a the cleat that attaches to the wall, a little smaller than the panel. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with this. It's kind of nice to make these small, casual paintings that don't take up a lot of space. I can put them on the shelf, see if I like them, see if I want to make them bigger. Maybe I want to make two of them and put them next to each other. That's kind of the cool thing. You could take two paintings like this and then decide, do I want them? Do I want to make them bigger or whatever? And as this fills, I'll just sort of move them to the side and uh, make more. I like making small work because again, it doesn't, it's not that much of a commitment. I am going to post a more of a traditional painting video. I think Sunday, maybe tomorrow morning or Sunday, this is the painting, a very simple sea, seascape. And the idea is to just kind of get people used to mixing color. Really, mixing color is, I think, one of the more important parts about painting. It's not that difficult. I like to break it down, keep it really, really simple. But as you can see, you've got a, a seascape here with just a few colors, not a lot of detail, not a lot of things that'll get you caught up in the weeds of trying to make something that's difficult. Uh, so I did end up making a painting downstairs for this frame and I am going to put this painting for sale on my website. That's the other fun thing about making little paintings like this. You can make frames and you can also make a frame system like I have right here. So a lot of times I'll make a painting that just fits right into a frame because I think a frame often will help a painting look better and that sometimes can give you the confidence to not be disappointed with the painting, maybe look at it a little bit longer. And also if you can put a painting in a frame like this, then you can put it on a shelf or uh, on a table, on a mantle or whatever, and kind of look at it a little bit because that's really what painting is. It's kind of just about looking at things. 
And if you're a woodworker, you could easily make this frame system. And if you're not, I do sell these also on my site. And I'll have a link down in the description below. Fun little project. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.